throw yourself into everything. Try out everything and seize opportunities and discover what it is you love. Second, be counter-cultural. Look at things from different angles. Maybe by starting the wrong way. Your view is as good as anybody else's. If different, it's almost certainly more interesting. Next, look out for guardian angels. Spend time with the people who encourage you. Be inquisitive, always wanting to learn. Inspiration will follow. Watch out for the experts, the boring know-it-alls. Ignore the naysayers and the doubting Thomases. I've met so many along the way, and trust me, they take the fun out of everything. <laughs> All they do is inhibit progress. Most importantly, it can never predict the future. None of us can. We have to take our own view and trust our own instincts. You may be just as wrong, but at least it's your failure. Next up, embrace failure. Of course, you can learn many things from a textbook or through others. However, you can learn more and viscerally from constantly experimenting and failing. Failure causes you to examine and overcome the problem. Getting it right first time does not give you that same ingrained learning. Success demands determination to overcome problems, concentration and stamina, which afterwards can look like a flash of brilliance. The harder you try and the more determined you are, the more you get out of it. Finally, do something you love. I've always pursued things that interest me and which I enjoy, and one project has led to another. To those of you moving on to the next chapter, I urge you to throw yourself into everything. Be a doer, rather than one of those far too many attention-seeking grandstanders who solve nothing. Be different, embrace failure, and discover your mojo. Believe in your ideas, ignore the naysayers. Instead, through science, engineering, the arts, ideas, and ingenuity, shape the world in your image for the better. Mm -hmm.